G'day all. Um, I've just got off the phone with Henry Bansberg, who I think most of you would have seen his videos on YouTube. And Henry gave me a few hints over the phone. I've gone ahead, I've taken off another loop of the, the governor spring. And Henry also gave me this other idea. I'm not sure if you should, might be able to see in here. So let me get a screwdriver. Can you see the governor, the two governor weights in here? They're a little bit proud from that toothed wheel down. What Henry said to do was put two brass washers in. And uh, I've got some one eighth brass washers. So I'll put those in, one each in behind each weight and the idea Henry said behind that is to stop them um, like suction fit fitting with oil onto that wheel and it just gives them that bit of freedom to flick back and forth like they're supposed to. The other thing I've done is I've moved this, loosen these two bolts here and move that back about half a millimeter. I tell you half a millimeter or so moving this is like moving it an inch. That is these are very fine moving these. One other hint I'm gonna give you I put plain water in there yesterday and I, on that sleeve inside I could see a little bit of rust this morning already so what the blokes in my gun club use they use Ballistol. I think most people would know Ballistol. It emulsifies with water. You put it with water, it looks exactly like milk, and uh, the black powder guys call it moose milk. So I've got moose milk in the water hopper now. So when you tip that out, the Ballistol will stay behind, and um, that will stop any rust going in there. So instead of just plain, putting plain water in there, if you've got some ballistol, grab some ballistol, mix it up with water, it will emulsify straight away. You'll get something looking like that. Don't leave it around because kids will bloody drink it. It's not it's non poisonous ballistol. I still wouldn't like to drink it. So let's have a go at these mods that Henry said to do. Just want to give a big thanks again to Matt from Steam212, Brian from Office of Steam, and Gary from the Model Engine Hit Miss Facebook site. Come on, rope, go on. Okay, battery's on. Take the load off.
do you reckon guys? What do you reckon that's running like now? I'm pretty happy with that. If um I didn't get any improvements on this now, I'd be happy I'd be happy, me personally, I'd be happy if that stayed like that now. Cause um I'm stoked. And uh I owe the thanks to you guys for getting it to this stage. I am really happy. I tell you what I do love. I'm stoked with this PMR research. You know, turn the petrol on, on the petrol on and off. What I call petrol, which is Zippo fuel. Okay, I'm just gonna start that once more. Battery on. Still cheating with the rope. Just uh, quickly take this off the tripod, give you a look at that governor working. Hopefully that'll focus. Wow, this en engine has come a long way since I took it out of the box. Really happy with that. And just you can see in there the the two washers behind those governor weights. And I'm just focusing now. And there's the moose milk, the ballista mixed with water. That's as cool as a cucumber. Okay, guys. Uh, this is going to be it for a while, I think, with the um, the Indromore 6cc engine. I think I've bored YouTube world with this engine. I've got a few more mods on another engine that I'm doing that I want to start mucking around with. So, um, until something uh, drastically changes with this, I think that's... Um, it's had its show time for a while. One other thing I did do was, uh, because I've been starting this up with a uh, rope pulley, I made a brass pulley for this because the other pulley that I was using was off another hit and miss engine. So I've put that back and uh, this brass one that I made up in the lathe uh, fits in nicely with the brass hub and uh, I reckon it looks pretty good. As always, thanks guys, really appreciate it. Be safe, bye for now.